oopsie. A little exercise for you, and then manicures for both of us. Ew. I wish you didn't always bury your toys, Poopsie. They get so... Ew. Here we go. Fetch! Okay, careful, Servo. There are people at the park, so only do what I tell you. It's not like when you were working with High Tide. Around humans, you need to act like a program robot. Follow my lead. Taking a robot dog for walkies? <laughs> That's silly, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't need to. <laughs> oh, no, Mrs. Lusky. We're just passing through. Rescue business. Automotive incident. Traffic delay increasing. Awaiting instructions. Robot, move the car to the curb, then fix the flat. Dog too. Did I say silly? I meant wonderful. How did it know to rescue Poopsie like that? I told him to. I mean, he's programmed to. And it's not Jody. It's Cody. And so helpful too. That's what you need, Poopsie. A robo dog of your own in case of emergencies. Come along, Poopsie. Baby's had enough excitement for one day, and so has Mama. Thanks again, Jody. It's bye, Mrs. Lusky. Nice job, Servo. <laughs> and I think Poopsie likes you. Ooh. Wish you guys could have seen him in action. He really saved the day and the mayor's dog. He returned the rubber bone too. Not a good idea. What was he supposed to do? Keep it? What Heatwave means is that this type of sentient behavior from Servo could threaten the undercover status for all of us, correct? Yeah, but without all the big words. If we have to act like metalheads, so does he. Cody explained that Servo's program for rescue. Anyway, something tells me Mrs. Lusky didn't think about it too hard. Maybe, but Heatwave and Chase's concerns are still on target. Servo shouldn't be seen acting on his own, unless it's a true emergency. It was, Dad. We couldn't just let the mayor's dog get run over. That is an emergency. An adorable, hairy little emergency. <laughs> Bottom line, from now on, out in public, you're a robot that acts only on command. Got that? <coughs> I know you can do it, buddy. Cody and I will help you. Your new diamond collar just arrived! We just love it, don't we just we do? Now let's get that nasty old one off. <laughs> Hello? Oh, come home early today! And in other news, what has four legs, changes flat tires, rescues dogs, and is the latest member of Griffin Rock's rescue team? Say hello and goodbye to Servo, the robotic mutt who just might be man's new best metallic friend.
Mayor Lusky, please. You have to calm down so I... Calm down, nothing! I've been the victim of a heinous crime. Poopsie's new collar stolen right out of my home. Are you sure you didn't misplace it? I don't see why anyone would steal a dog collar. Because it's encrusted with 27 diamonds. That's why. It's worth more than... than your monthly salary. We'll get right on it. And I think I need a raise. Team, we have a 459 B and E. No way! An actual B and E? Um, what's a B and E? Breaking and entering. Specifically in that order. Uh, you'll need to finish up on your own. Happy, but for now, we'll have to file this one under mission unaccomplished. Trying to find a missing dog collar in a town this size is about as easy as looking in Servo's mouth. Servo, what have you done? Chief Burns for the mayor. Yes, Mr. Alper, I'll hold. I can't believe it. We've been living with a thief under our noses this entire time. There has to be an explanation. So what exactly have you two been teaching him anyhow? Just to act like a robot. Sure didn't teach him to steal or, or even bury things like Earth Dogs do. Would you care to make a statement? Though I must warn you, anything you bark or beep can and will be held against you. Now hang on there, Sherlocks. Just because he had the collar doesn't mean he stole the collar. In fact, he's got a watertight alibi. That's right. He was helping you with the drain pipe when the call came in. And Servo was with Cody and me the whole morning before that. So he's not guilty. I'm so relieved. Yes, if you could just leave word with the mayor that the stolen item has been recovered, thanks. I bet what happened was Servo got out and caught the thief. Or maybe he found the collar somewhere and thought burying it was the best way to keep it safe. Whatever the case, Servo was still acting on his own. If he can't learn to stop that behavior and does something to expose the team's secret, well, <clears throat> he might be better off back with High Tide. I know he'd take good care of you, but I'd miss you, boy. <coughs> Excellent work, boys! And the thief is behind bars, I take it? Uh, well, we, uh, found the collar on the ground. Uh, Perp probably just chucked it when he saw us on patrol. W oh, yes! That's exactly what happened. Just like Cade said. And he wouldn't lie, because Cade is as honest as- <clears throat> Him. We'll keep looking for the thief, Mayor Lusky. to only following our commands. That'll convince other humans that you're just another robot. Watch us. Robot, touch your head. Robot, take two steps back. Now take two steps forward. Robot, take two steps forward. See? He obeys only when I say robot. With you, the command will be bot dog. Got it? Yeah, I know. It's embarrassing, but you get used to it. Ready? 
catch. Good servo. Way to pay attention. Okay, bot dog, fetch. Robot, throw. Sorry. Bot dog, fetch. piece of the puzzle. Oh, finally, our Tyrannosaur skeleton will be complete. Bring it inside. Where could he have gone? Dog, where are you? <laughs> ah, what have you done? <laughs> Um, did you happen to see a... It was that Robodog, the one on the news. He destroyed our display. I'm sure he didn't. This was the mayor's pet project. Oh, wait till he hears about this. I can't believe Servo would do this. We have to find him. He could be anywhere by now. Let's head back to the firehouse. We can use the Energon tracker. I know. Mr. Mayor, I I'm sure it's just a glitch in the dog's programming. We are working on it, and nothing like this will ever happen again. I promise. <sighs> what happened? The rest of us are out on a rescue, so you just let him run wild? No! He, he was doing really well. Then all of a sudden, he just ran away. Up till now, Servo's been really helpful. Right! Any tool you need, he's got it. And he's a zillion times better than a real dog. We don't have to feed him or... Servo is not a pet. He's a Cybertronian helper bot, and right now he's not helping. Indeed, his actions are putting us all in jeopardy. But... No buts. He's not more important than the team. And if he doesn't get that... There, that's his Energon signal. He just turned on Waverly, headed toward the zoo. Maybe he just wants to see the monkeys. I'm sure he's not doing anything wrong. Uh, Dad, calls have been coming in nonstop. And there is some security footage you might want to see. Uh, 
I'm sorry, son. I think you know what this means. Okay, that can't be good. <laughs> Watch and learn, partner. Case and cage closed. Not quite. We still need to round up Servo. Uh, Dad? Mayor's on the phone. I'll patch him through. My, my dinosaur display? Mayhem downtown? I want that Robomont off my island by morning! Run off again! Come to Mama! Ew, I don't even want to touch this filthy old thing. Ah. HB, take this out of the trash, please. Uh, always with it. Stay here. Mom is getting her camera. What? What's gotten into that dog? Poopsie! No! Wait! Eat your cloth! Oh. Found you. Gotcha, Servo. Your reign of terror is over. How's the cleanup going, son? So far, we have a destroyed fruit stand, broken plate glass, a ruined wedding cake, and a very upset carpenter. Copy that. Cody's been looking through video. Maybe he spotted some damage we missed. No, something more important. Dad, look. All the damage was because of Mrs. Lusky's dog. Servo was trying to protect her all along and rescuing people at the same time. Well, what do you know? His motives were clearly good, son, but he was still acting on his own, and we can't have that. But, Dad, you said yourself, unless it's an emergency, and these were all emergencies. He was just doing his job. You're right. I gave you those orders myself, didn't I, boy? <laughs> emergency dispatch. Yes, Mrs. Lusky. Oh, I'm glad you called. It seems that your dog... Oh, is that so? All right, well, we'll look into it. Poopsie's missing again. And the mayor, too, but uh, somehow that didn't seem as urgent. She says he went to take some trash out and never came back. All the automated garbage trucks have a video feed. I can tap in and see if it picked up anything. It picked up something, all right. The mayor and Poopsie. Rescue team, city dump, code red. Team. The Scrap Master! My 
my toupee! Oh, thank goodness I found it. <laughs> Thanks to the Burns family, we're safe and sound. Thanks to Servo. He's been keeping a good eye on your dog. We, uh, programmed him that way. Any chance he might change your mind about getting rid of him? Um, uh, uh, it, Mr. Mayor? Get rid of it? I, I can't believe you'd even consider it! <clears throat> Let's face it. This is the dog that's out of control. Did you hear that, Cody? Sure did. Noble! Ah, uh, poopsie! Hey, come back here! Stop! You so missed your chance, Dad. Should have asked him for a raise. So, the mayor's on board. What do you think, Heatwave? I say we return Servo to where he belongs. The firehouse. <laughs> Can we please get a move on? I'd like to get out of Blossom Vale sometime this century. You go ahead, Cade. We'll catch up. Really, we don't need a babysitter. Yeah, we have a four-ton bot to protect us. And he won't eat our snacks. This was Dad's idea, okay? Not mine. If Graham wasn't so busy, he'd be Boulder's driver and I'd be on a date with Haley. Shh. Bird watching is supposed to be a quiet activity. More like tree watching. Only Boulder could enjoy a pastime that even humans know is boring. I find the variety and beauty of Earth birds inspiring. Cybertron had nothing like this. What kind of bird is it, Boulder? I think it's a red-headed cuckoo. Why are you looking at me when you say that? Okay, let's go. Finally! Cody, Frankie, let's... Uh, where are they? Up here! We just want to get a high shot of the whole grove. Oh, woodpeckers with babies. Ugh, babies. <gasps> Where? I can't see them from here. Hey, guys, climb down from there. It doesn't look safe. Don't worry, Cade. We're fine. <gasps> no! Ah! 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 A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. You stay on the strangest of places. Earth was their home now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. A family of heroes will be your allies. Two others remain robots in disguise. Roll to the rescue. A hero Are you joking? It, what if you'd gotten hurt? You know what Dad would do to me? Sorry, Cade. We're sorry. Are the baby birds okay, Boulder? They're wonderful. Aw, I think they like you. <laughs> hey, it tickles. That was my favorite part. Hi, Daddy. I'll be ready in a sec. Look what we saw today. So far, I've spotted 27 of the island's 40 known bird species. Well, I think it's adorable. Pointless, but adorable. It's strange, though. I can't find those woodpeckers in my book. Perhaps they're undercover. Is that why you're spying on them? Do you suspect them of some sort of woodland conspiracy? <laughs> I don't see the appeal, but hey, watch whatever animals you want. I have quite a soft spot for the Piscine subfamily myself. Maybe I can identify the... Oh, my. Something wrong, Doc? On the contrary. The reason Boulder's book doesn't have a picture of the birds is that they're... extinct. <gasps> well, everyone thought they were. Obviously, we were wrong. Doc's right. Boulders found the first golden-crested woodpecker anyone's seen in 40 years. Noble! That's awesome! Congratulations, Boulder. 
an extinct bird in Griffin Rock. This'll be huge news. No, we mustn't tell anyone about this, at least until I can contact the authorities. These birds need to be protected as an endangered species. The worst possible thing for them would be a crowd of tourists trampling through their habitat. I for one assure you that my lips, if I had any, would be sealed. No worries, Duck. They'd have to drag it out of me. Nice, Boulder. It's not every day you make scientific history. Even if you can't tell the world. Yeah, like we don't already know how that feels. <laughs> we all know our mission is to serve and protect humans. But what about those creatures who need protection from humans? Oh dear. That is not only ironic, but quite the moral dilemma. The babies especially need guarding. They can't even fly. Aw, like helpless little kittens, but with tiny wings. It's a whole caboodle of cuteness. I'm in. As am I, if Chief will allow it. I suppose so. On the condition that you don't neglect your real jobs. Great. Heatwave, you in? <sighs> Our job is keeping people safe, not birds. This whole thing just seems too far off mission. <sighs> Count me out. Okay, woodpeckers, check. Rescuers, check. Now what? Now we guard them. I will secure the perimeter. Well, this is exciting. Maybe the birds would like some of those flower bushes here. You know, to make things prettier. Good idea. We could get rid of these old dry logs to make room. There. I bet the birds will love these flowers. Bees sure do. I'll just plant them a little further away. I don't know. Something's got them spooked. Maybe some nice soothing music would calm them down. I have an MP3 player. We could plug it into Blades' PA. a protective stakeout with all that noise! Dad! I thought I'd check in to see how it's going. I didn't realize your plan to protect the woodpeckers included scaring them to death. <sighs> I know you all mean well, but you need to find a balance between doing nothing and going overboard, or you risk all kinds of unintended consequences. Hey, the babies are out and they look ready to fly! Birdies, it's easy. Just do what I did the first time. Close your eyes and scream. Confound it, Harrison. Sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, when you're done with that, there are two more calls. Dad, this isn't fair. We're carrying the whole load while everyone else is babysitting. Those birds didn't look so endangered to me. Huh. Uh, did you say endangered birds on our fair little island? Oh, I, well, I, I meant dangerous birds, like uh, e eagles and, uh, and uh, vultures oh, and barracudas. Okay, do I look like a fool? Uh, well, uh... As mayor, I order you to come clean. <sighs> Fine. I uh, heard there's a family of golden-crested woodpeckers that everyone thinks is extinct. But it's a secret, so don't say anything, please. But well, don't worry, my boy. I know how to keep a secret. <laughs> I'm a politician. <laughs> well, thanks for the rescue. Toodaloo. Robot, vehicle mode. <laughs> Oh, 
Hopper. Ever hear of the Golden Crested Woodpecker? No? Well, look it up and get out your floaties because we are about to be swimming in tourists. <laughs> And I'm thrilled to announce the rediscovery of the Golden Crested Woodpecker right here in Griffin Rock, soon to be the no longer extinct bird capital of the world. Everybody, code red. The mayor's giving a press conference about the woodpeckers. What? Who told him? Who else? <laughs> Mister, they'd have to drag it out of me. <sighs> Ow! He made me! Besides, it wouldn't have happened if everyone wasn't running around the forest. Someone should have been there to shut me up. Right, like we can ever do that. Mayor Lusky, the world wants to know, who is the discoverer of these amazing birds? Well, I'm sworn to secrecy. Hey, but between you and me... And my vast television audience? The Burns family may be able to shed some light on this. What if it's Huxley? What if it's someone in trouble? Griffin Ra... Oh, hi, Mr. Prescott. Rats. Why couldn't someone be in trouble? That came out wrong. Cody Burns, the truth. Was it, as the mayor implies, one of the Burns family who discovered our golden-crested treasure? No, uh, not exactly. It was, um, more like a friend of the family. Cody, the public has a right to know. And this nose for news won't stop until I sniff out the truth. The whole truth. Great. Now your bird patrols put our secret in jeopardy, too. You're right. I got us into this. I'll get us out. I'll talk to him. Ooh, fun. I'll get Graham's voice-altering thingy. It'll be like an episode of My Sister, the Mob Boss. Well, what's it going to be? Don't blow it. Mr. Prescott, I'll uh, patch you through. But the person wants to stay anonymous. You can't ask their name or anything else. Strange, but very well. Hello, mysterious friend? Hello. How are you? Well, hello there, sweetie. Will you tell our audience all about how you found the little birdies? Of course. I was just enjoying a day of bird watching in the forest. <sighs> I love birds. Is this some sort of joke? <sighs> Forget the gizmo. Huxley's only heard you as a robot anyway. Sorry, phone connection. The birds are beautiful, with perfect crests, and the babies are adorable. Baby birds! Hear that, folks? Oh, I can't <laughs> wait to see <laughs> the birdies. They're wonderful creatures who just need a place to call home and some shelter from the storm. Just like any of us, all I want is to help. Oh, I can tell, friend, I can tell. And I'm sure bird fans everywhere will be flocking here for a peek at a beak. Where exactly is their nest? Oh, no, 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 uh, they're not ready for that. Uh, everyone just leave them alone. <laughs> there, that'll be the end of it. So, not the end of it. Talk about your unintended consequences. I'm pretty sure this is exactly what the mayor intended. Oh, I tell you, Alpha, this was a stroke of genius. Those birds mean steady revenue for years. Well, there's the mayor, the guy from TV. Yeah, I came all the way from Ohio. I, I want to see the birds. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, now I, it's hard to say where exactly. Uh, uh, you know, birds, they fly every... There! Uh, uh, Kate Burns is the one who told me about them. Ask him! Ha! I knew the Burnses were hiding something. Confess, Kate Burns, you discovered the birds. What? No way, not me. Then your brother Graham. <laughs> well, it wasn't him either. Or Danny, or Chief, or Cody. Right. Next, I suppose you'll tell me it was one of your rescue bots. Uh, <laughs> good one, Huxley. Cade, I demand you tell us. The public's right to know, etc., so forth. <sighs> okay. I found the birds. <laughs> <laughs> now that your secret's out, tell us, Cade, 
What is the golden crested woodpecker really like? Oh, well, it's a bird uh, with uh, wings and it pecks wood. Yes, yes, but I think what we all want to know is where does it live? Oh no, somebody call Kate and stop him before it's too late. I'm calling, I'm calling. In a tree, in a hole, in a tree. Fine, but where on the island? Don't say it. Come on, son. You can't tell him. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Don't say the rat. Blossomvale. What? <sighs> Kate. Blossomvale! And let me take this opportunity to announce the forthcoming Woodpecker Wonderland Luxury Campgrounds. Head to be built, coincidentally, in beautiful Blossomvale. This is going to get ugly. Bird watchers are a very determined group. I heard that some took over a whole county once to find a rare bird. <sighs> Which means lots of visitors getting lost, chased by bears, or worse. Looks like we're gonna have our hands full. You guys go. I'll wait for Cade. Someone needs to stay in town, in case there's a real emergency. Thanks for the lift, Blades. All right, we seem to have arrived ahead of the crowds. Chase, Boulder, are you in position? Affirmative, sir. We are patrolling the perimeter. Doc, how are the birds doing? They seem just fine. Hmm, those worms remind me it's lunchtime. And I have a strange craving for spaghetti. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Till further notice, Blossom Vale is closed. Oh, come on! We've got this Unless you're a bird, this is a no-fly zone. Please leave the airspace. You too, Mr. Harrison. The Burns family may have their robot thugs standing guard, but never fear, viewers. Nothing will stop Huxley Prescott. Nothing. Except that. I'm sure we'll work this out, but right now, for the good of everyone, Blossom Vale must remain closed. What? What do you get? Oh! Aha! Chief, I have here a court order to open Blossom Vale for unlimited camping immediately! <laughs> Looks like we have no choice. But all these people will scare the woodpeckers away. Sorry, kids. Okay, let them in. to safety. On our way, Dad. Be there in two shakes. Attention, humans. Please form a single line and proceed in an orderly fashion behind me. You may elect to arrange yourselves by either height or age. Don't forget the woodpeckers. Human lives come first. The birds will be fine. Boulder, the hill where you got the flower bushes. We could use that loose dirt as a fire break. Good thinking. Let's go for it. Until Cade and Heatwave get here, we're the Water Brigade. He shoots! He scores! Yay me! Hey! Sorry, Mr. Mayor! Accident! Right? Um... Mostly? The cavalry has arrived! I 
I warned you. If you'd just minded your own business, there'd have been no interviews, no crowds, no dry logs, and no fire. I know. You're right. But at least we saved the woodpeckers. Um... Guys? They're gone. Boulder, I'm so sorry. All we did, and we couldn't even save the birds. I wish I'd never seen them. Then nobody would have known, and they'd be safe. Sorry, partner. Law of unintended consequences. One of the few laws even I wish could be circumvented. Don't feel bad, team. At least your hearts were in the right place. Human hearts are movable? Why so morose, my metallic mates? The re-extinction of a species is hardly cause for celebration. And it's all my fault. Don't be quite so funereal. Our golden-crested friends may be endangered, but they're hardly helpless. When I went to check on the woodpeckers earlier, I leg-tagged them all with tracers, so I could keep tabs on them. The birds saw the fire and flew over to the next valley with their babies. They're all okay. All right. Splendid. They are? Noble. And since they are quite territorial, I'm certain they'll soon return to their home in Blossomville. But we still went overboard trying to protect them. We were almost as bad as those bird watchers. We can't let that happen again. Well, maybe it's what my dad said about finding a balance. I wonder if there's some way to do that with the woodpeckers. Find a way they can be safe while people still get to see them. Hmm. Cody, I believe you've given me an idea. And so, after consultation with Doc Green, I am very pleased to announce the establishment of the Lusky Bird Sanctuary, a haven for endangered birds and the people who will pay to see them. We'll admit only a few people at a time, so as not to disturb the birds. But our webcam will allow bird watchers all over the world to enjoy our golden crested friends as they rebuild their population. Yay, us. 